And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Let's roll. Up at 3.45 a.m., cardio by 4.45 a.m., hit the iron by 6.15 a.m., in my pickup truck by 7.15 a.m., heading to work, ready to get after it. Ready Why to- you started. All you can think about is what's in front of you right now. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at Look at this. Oh, fuck. And it gets pretty hard. You're like, fuck, this is going to be really hard. And you start to grind it out. And then all of a sudden, things start to click. Here I come. To my Black Other Games land. That's what is he. Man, look, can anyone tell me how to get rid of this red eye after having COVID or COVID or whatever it's called? Man, I gotta get rid of this. Anyway, man, had a good workout today. Took the bike, took the side chick out to the gym. Surprisingly, the gym was crowded today. Well, I was there with a client. And you know what? Me and the client just wasn't having it. Today was supposed to be a fairly heavy day. We go in and we push the limits. Before I go any farther, whatever I say here is purely, purely made up. It's just hypothetical bullshit. Do your own due diligence. But I'll tell you, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knew somebody who told somebody that told me. So if I'm talking to you, take heed. If not, then whatever. Anyway. So I'm there training with a client. And we both weren't feeling it today. We were both just kind of like, oh. You know what I mean? It wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? We had bad form each and everything. So what we did was we switched it up. See, you know days where you know your form is not up to par? When you know it could possibly be a high motherfucking chance you're going to snap some shit up? You're trained for the pump. See, today we went for the pump. See, there's nothing wrong with going for the pump. See, the pump is when you lighten the weight and you increase the rep. See, truth be told, I know a lot of pros, a lot of professional people make a good living this shit that do nothing but train for the pump. In other words, they go in and they hit that body part, upper chest, lower chest, calf, whatever, and they blow it up till they get that nice fullness. The muscle belly expands, and that's all they do. There's a lot of cats out there that don't train heavy and as big as a motherfucker. Because remember, you rip or you tear muscle in the gym. And you gain muscle and you build muscle in recovery while you sleep. So days like this where you go in and you, let's just say you give um, you give 85%. Anyway, so got sidetracked. So went for the pump. So what we did was we hit shoulders and chest. Now I know that's a weird combination, but... It, it just flowed that way. So on chest, we did 50 sets. 50 sets. We did 50 sets. We put 25s, 35s, went to 45s, pumped it, pumped it out, then went back down. Kind of like a pyramid. I'm telling you, at the last couple, that upper chest, man, was incredible. Then we immediately went over to shoulders and delts. Hitting shoulders and delts. Hitting shoulders and delts. See, what, what, what the advantage is. Now, on days like this, when you're putting 85% out, 75% off, and you deal with, that's when a SARM or some type of uh, selectric interceptor module kick in. Because what a SARM does, see, what we know, we know with stuff like LGD4033, RAD144, all that, they give you that added pump. They give you that added push. See, so on days where you're not giving 100%, because let's be real, very few of us give 100%. So there are... There's never a time where you can, like, waste your time in the gym. I mean, you're going to get something out of it. If you go in and just walk on the treadmill, it's always better sitting at home. But when you're hitting and you're working out and you're not giving your all, but subliminally, well, you know, not subliminally, but you forget that you got that little added extra. You got that little added advantage that the dude next to you don't have because 
if you're putting in, and let's just say, I'm just hypothetical, you're putting in 50%, you're getting 60%. You're getting that little added boost. You're getting that little added uh, uh, antibody, let's say, a uh, 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 shot of, um, let's say, turbo from SARMs. See, that's what it is. See, when you get to a certain age or even when you're training out, see, unless you go on stage and this is a profession and you're training for Mr. Olympic, very few is going to give 110% every time out. And truth be told, even though cats don't, because I know cats that Mr. California, so they, they're they highly, highly, uh, let's say, subsidized, <laughs> this is a be- like a better word, with chemicals and additives and stuff that give them that added oomph because you only can do so much, especially if your genetics ain't great, right? Those of you with the great genetics, I ain't talking to you freaks, get the fuck off my channel. But the cats out there, the normal cats that looking for that pump, that want to see it, first of all, a pump is great for your psyche. Just having that pump makes you feel good about yourself because you felt like you did something in the gym. Then having that pump, then also having that increased muscle belly fullness that came from a SARM and to know that you just got the maximum out of what effort you put in. So if you put 55% in, you got 100% of that 55% you put in. Knowing that in the back of your head and keeping it up and routinely and and over and over and over and, and, and consistency with that. And then some days you put 85, some days you put 100, some days you feel great, some days you don't. And then you start noticing that over a period of time that, whoa, after six weeks, oh, y'all start, my body has changed. My body feels good. And, it's, and then, you know, you're sitting there and you want to go to the gym. See, sometimes you train for the pump for nothing else but to train yourself and to teach yourself and to fool yourself that it's all for not. And keep truth be told, guys, when you lift heavy, especially in them days when you're not necessarily with a great form, the increase for fucking up and snapping up some shits three, four times fold. So training light is okay. There's nothing training light is okay. As long as you get that rep in, as long as you pinpoint and target a muscle, and as long as you work that muscle, gains doesn't matter how you get them just as long as you do peace like subscribe i'm a true muscle fitness now if you want to get some insight on this what we call here sarms these skittles that we take but you only keep it researching go to newsarms.com which fits the code you can hit me up below you can hit me in my dm there's a lot of things out there especially it's getting close to summer guys see i'm starting to get ready to take off this t-shirt on you fools because i know that even though i didn't give a hundred percent in the gym today, I gave 100% of the effort that I did give with an added little help. Peace, like, subscribe, my true muscle fitness, and I'm out.